All right, so we've talked about how to find the sun, how to find the new moon, how to find the full moon, and that a waxy moon is getting bigger where the light is gonna be on the right. All right, we are now gonna figure out what's gonna happen when we go from a full to a new. So when we look at this picture, we said a new to a full is a waxy moon, but when we go from a full to a new, we call this our waning moon where light is decreasing. You wax on and you wane off. Again here, this was a new moon, from a new to a full is a waxing, light's getting bigger, light's on the right, but in a when we go from a full to a new, we're going from a lot of light to no light. Light is decreasing. It's a waning moon. Same thing, from a new to a full is waxing, light's getting bigger, but from full to new, light is decreasing, light's getting smaller. And so we wanna now put these notes in, so we can always figure out what is a waning moon or where the light is decreasing. And everything about our waning moon is just the opposite of our waxing moon, all right? So light is decreasing. Moon getting smaller. The moon itself is not getting smaller, just like the moon here is not actually getting smaller, but the amount of light, which is visible, is getting smaller. The amount of light here is getting bigger. We're gonna highlight this D, because we're gonna do something with that letter D. Uh, let's make it a blue. Um, and since everything is basically an opposite, we can now say that instead we are going from 100% light zero percent light right it's doing the opposite as our waxing moon instead of light being on the right it's the opposite light is on the left and we are going from a full to new moon right we call this a waning moon Waning moon, wax on, wane off. All right, and so we're gonna show you the trick for how to figure out it's a waning moon if you're looking at the actual moon itself. If you can see up here, we did the trick with the B. The loop of the B goes around the bright side, which is on the right, which makes it a waxing moon. We're gonna do almost the same trick, except now we're talking about a decreasing moon. So if you notice, the Bs all fit perfectly on our waxy moons, but our Ds actually fit on our waning moons, right? The loop of the D actually goes around the light, if we can get it to work here. Right, so the loop of the D goes around and caps, circles the light part, and we can get our D for our decreasing or our waning moon. Same thing with this quarter moon. We get our D to go over it. The D, the light is circling the D part, and we get a decreasing or a waning moon. Again, here's a gibbous. We line up the big, the loop part of the lowercase d over the bright part, and we can see that the d fits. So we can see, and these ones are waxing moons because the light is on the right, the b fits over it, and these ones are all waning moons. The light is on the left, and our d's fit into it. So again, in our notes, just like we put a b over here, we can actually um, put a d for our decreasing moon.